this disabled gaming reviews let's play it's best enjoyed in front of a computer monitor and or tablet with the speakers on and to any epileptics out there please watch this in a well-lit environment to reduce the risk of any potential seizures this DJR place party is also unofficially sponsored by boom and mini boom and air so boom and mini boom are a geek boutique where if you're looking for things like dragon ball mugs alien figurines etc etc definitely check them out did I also mention that they're an official Warhammer retailer? So if you're looking for extra fire team squads to add to your Tau army, definitely check them out. They are located opposite Airbus Station. Look out for the Deadpool statue. Links to Boom and Mini Boom's Facebook page is in the video's description below. Now, with all that aside, please enjoy the video. Again, powered by source. By the way, no, this is not episode two. So, um, one of the ones, back on an A9 Chief Editor of the Civil Game Reviews here. The day today is the 1st of May 2023. So, we today we're now starting a, our next, the next chapter of pretty much uh, trying to let's play every single Valve game par maybe including Half-Life Alex, um, thanks to a non-VR mod we've encountered. But to be honest with you, we would rather wait for sale, just in case everything blows up in our face. Right, so yes, we did We did see in the previous blog update, which we, we posted yesterday, we, might, we will be using the M mod. Yeah, change of plan. We have decided to use a fixed version of Half-Life Source. Which basically is half life running on the source engine. So the M mod really didn't like XSplit. Really didn't like XSplit. So um so save formality as usual. So so save formalities as usual. Each, each episode is gonna be lasting 45 minutes. And the timer will but the timer will not start until the map is loaded. But also, um we will not be doing in this chapter Black Mesa Inbound because it's more or less a train ride through Black Mesa, through the Black Mesa Research Facility, which was in fact a tech demo, and which Valve's in-horse engine Gold Source was capable of when the original Half-Life released back in 1988. So with me, as always, is the um, my. Co-pilot from Miami, what a tough here with Miles S. Power from Kid Robot. Okay, here we go. Start the timer now. Oh. Okay, timer started. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. You see? And on top of that, as you can see, this, this little mod has subtitle support. That's odd. There was an Easter egg there, was I really wanted to do. Ah, it's good to see you. Give me a second there. So, what did we set our use key? My God, what are you doing? Nothing. Right, time for me to get the heck out of here. So, Why so, but as we can see, it's just like using the source there. engine as its base. Welcome to the 
HEV Mark IV protective system for use in hazardous environment conditions. Our high protective armor activated. Atmospheric contaminant sensors activated. Vital sign monitoring activated. Automatic medical systems engaged. Defense weapon selection system activated. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Activated. Communications interface online. Have a very safe day. You'll just have to wait until after the test. Alright. Oh, you mean the test I'm doing on Grateful Assault? Ah, Gordon. Here you are. We just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we need the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather they went to some lengths to get it. They're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. Hello. Oh. It's about to go critical. What the hell is going on with our equipment? Ah, hello, Gordon Freeman. It's good to see you. Good to see you too. Thanks a lot for being nice to me for once. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedures today, Gordon. Yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And, potentially, the most unstable. Now, now, if you follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that, although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Ah, yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Testing. Testing. <coughs> Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. If you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Take it from here. Power to stage one emitters in three, two, one. I'm seeing predictable phase arrays. Okay, so now, meanwhile, all this is going on, it's time for an open question. So, stage two emitters now activating now. Valve's latest 
Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long the reading will take. Please, work as quickly as you can. Overhead capacitors to uh, 105%. Uh, it's probably not a problem, probably, but I'm showing a small discrepancy in, well, no, it's well within acceptable bounds again. Sustaining signals. I've just been informed that the sample is ready, Gordon. It should be coming up to you any moment now. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. Okay, so, now, uh, before we jump on this, I ah, yeah, so Half-Life Alex, VR only. So it seems as though the top right spark been able to build, um, build straight up a non-VR mod. Standard insertion for a non-standard specimen. Go ahead, Gordon. Slot the carrier in. Look here! Gordon! Get away from the beat! Shutting down! No! Attempting shutdown! It's not! It, it's not! It's not shutting down! It, it's not! simply think that it's or or um, do you think the modders are actually trying to do an actual service for the GTR community? Let me know in the comments. So yeah so good to go over here. Have a morning guys have a morning I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. Gordon, you're alive. Thank God for that hazard suit. I'm afraid to move him and all our phones are out. Please, get to the surface as soon as you can and let someone know we're stranded down here. You'll need me to activate the retinal scanners. I'm sure the rest of the science team will gladly help you. Recognize this guy? Yes, let's go. This is Eli Plant from the legendary Half-Life 2. I predicted all of this, you know. All of it. Unstable, or have I? Have I been I'm a shit store. <laughs> oh. See you. What the hell are these things? And why are they wearing science team uniforms? I could take that guy and, and grab his gun. 
his pistol, but I'd rather not, to be honest. Um, yeah, it's best for me to grab that guard. Uh, excuse me. Okay, I'll cover you. I need a wee bit of your help here, man. This place is a lot bigger than I thought. How long have you been, how long have you been working here? Minor lacerations detected. Okay, I'll secure this area. He's continually shooting my dead body. Yeah, you keep on going ahead and doing that. So, this is the Black Mesa incident? Yes, that is where it all started. That's headcrab indoctrination, isn't it? Yes, shield, that's headcrab indoctrination. Sorry, bro. Thank you very much for the pistol, though. Much appreciated. Later. Fine. You won't even know I'm here. I seem to be seriously wounded. Well, I seem to be seriously wounded. could happen, but the administrator just would not listen. I certainly hope you know what you're doing. I'll stay here. Yep, yeah, those... Hold up a second, those were Vortigons. They're supposed to be in our team. Not necessarily. Working on this. <laughs> You'll see a lot, a lot more about these, about these guys.
operations detected. Detected. Automatic medical systems engaged. Time to check. Only five minutes. About twenty-four and a half. <coughs> twenty-four and a half. Thanks, James. Still got a lot of time.
so far. Detected. some sort of Ah, you have one of the new HEV suits. That should be Gordon. If I'd known it was you, I'd have let you in. Everyone's heading for the service. But I think they're crazy not to stay put. Someone is bound to come by and rescue us. Lead the way. Why are you leaving me here? Because there's barnacles overhead. It appears the containment system has completely failed. No.
Okay, why not? I'll stay here and guard this area. Or I want to go to the surface. What if the world finds out what we were doing down here? All right. I'll wait. Okay, we might live longer if we work together. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait here. Yep, well, that target range time is gonna... Yep. Judging by the, um... <laughs> I'm gonna head.
had dead head crossover over there. I personally think this is where we came. Fascinating. I never suspected such things could be. There's a lemon on the top. overheard a secure access transmission. Soldiers have arrived and they're coming to rescue us. Of course I have my doubts that we'll lose them. Don't be so negative. Hello, sir. Hey, what the hell are you doing down here? Get topside! I hear troops are coming in to save us. Yeah. Second. Keyboard I was saying. Let's go now.
Freeman. Who would have thought you'd still be alive? Ah, you've been wounded. Let's try this. Two. Hey, don't count on the cavalry finding us down here. Head for the surface. <laughs> Open the silo door! They're coming for us! It's our only way out! Oh my god, we're doomed!
And that's what we left for today as we all very strong opening the um, first play of Half-Life, of the original Half-Life. So then, have a good day.